Opportunity is knocking, friend. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another legendary guide for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Today we're going to be covering the Liquid Cooling. Hands down, one of, if not the best, legendary in the entire game. It is ridiculously good. The red flavor text reads, works great until it doesn't, which of course is a reference to Liquid Cooling in PCs, but also it's about the weapon itself. The weapon is very good until it heats up and eventually breaks, but the red text also means that as long as you're getting a critical hit, this pistol will never overheat and it also always has frost damage. It does a lot of damage by default. It's got a great fire rate, and as long as you're hitting crits, it's insanely powerful, as you can see here, basically unlimited magazine size on a weapon that's already very good. So how are we going to go ahead and farm this? We're going to start here in the overworld. As always, we're going to be heading to Crackmast Cove. So we're going to have to go ahead and do is go to the world map here, go all the way over to Crackmast Cove, enter in there. And now once we're here, it's going to be a bit of a run, but we're going to have to head to Scallywag Landing. As you can see, the ancient obelisk is right down below it, but it doesn't actually work out all that well. So let's go ahead and fast travel. All right, now that we're inside Crackmast Cove, we're we'll going ahead and open up the map. We're going to be heading here towards the ancient obelisk. The fastest way to get here is just simply to turn around and then jump down below. This is one of those areas that has a lot of elevation to it, but if you just simply go here and then drop down below, you're going to be able to run on the main beach, and then eventually we're going to be looking for a waterfall. Initially, it's going to take a little bit to be able to run here, but after you're done farming the boss for the very first time, you save and exit and you'll spawn right outside the waterfall, making this a relatively fast farm, but at the same time, the drop chance on the liquid cooling appears to be pretty low, which is definitely unfortunate. But here's going to be the waterfall we're looking for. We simply run inside here and then we see the ancient obelisk. We're going to be looking for a boss here named Lycia Ironrot, who of course will spawn like any ancient obelisk boss after you kill a number of the enemies that are here outside. And now that the obelisk has been filled by killing all the smaller enemies around, we have the boss spawning here, Lycia Ironrot, and she's very easy to take down, but unfortunately she does appear to have a pretty low drop chance for this particular weapon, so it may take a little bit of farming, but as you can see, after you quit the game, back to the main menu, and then load back into your character, you're going to spawn right outside next to the waterfall, making it a a lot easier to farm this boss than some of the other legendaries in the game because you spawn virtually right next to the boss so unfortunately her drop chance for the liquid cooling appears to be pretty low as you can see here i got a couple of them to drop i'm going to be showing the drops here in this video and i showed you earlier how ridiculously powerful this pistol can be if you're actually hitting critical hits which means if you're somebody like a stabomancer if you're somebody that benefits from frost damage like a berserker there's a lot of different classes that benefit from the frost damage here and then the critical hit potential just constantly hitting crits even me a graveborn slash spell shot I don't really benefit from crits that much. If you just run up to like any boss in the game, if you know where their crit spot is and you just start loading bullets into them, you're never gonna have to reload and the weapon itself is already incredibly powerful. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the liquid cooling, one of if not the best legendary in the game. I'm sure you guys have heard about this weapon quite a bit. It's pretty easy to farm. You're gonna need a little bit of luck on your side to get the drop from Lycia Iron Rot, but once it does drop, you're going to quickly see that the hype behind this weapon is completely justified and it's incredibly fun to use. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.